Hello everyone, I'm Typhoon here again. Welcome to this first hands-on lecture where we dive straight into the Hack RF, specifically with the Portapack Mayhem interface. Now, if you are getting Hack RF in 2025, chances are it comes bundled with the Portapack like this and with a preloaded Mayhem uh, firmware. That's what I will be using throughout this course. But if uh, your looks different, like, uh, let's see, for example, this one, don't worry, all the features we cover are extensions on top of the hack RF functionality. Uh, so, yeah, now I have two hack RF units. Uh, this one has the full metal case, while my other hack RF is bare modular now that's an important point uh, you know the porta pack is detachable now you can remove it and use the base hack rf alone like this one connected to your pc via this usb ports so if you're here just for the hack rf itself you will find a ton of value, but let me blunt. The Porta Pack makes your life 10 times easier. So you can do 90% of your research and experiments without even touching a computer. Now it is portable, powerful, and very beginner friendly once you know where to look. Now, all right. Now uh, I will start exploring the interface uh, from the Porta Pack Mayhem. Now here we are. On the top left button, we have access to the main menu. Tap it once, or you can also use the uh, buttons. Now you will see the credits page uh, first. Now this is the list that Mayhem firmware contributors. Just click OK to exit. Now let's break down the top bar of the user interface. Now here uh, we have the camera uh, icon here. Now this is the screenshot icon. Now you can tap this to capture a screenshot to your SD card. Uh, this is useful for documentation purposes. And on the right, we have the sleep mode. Now this simply turns the screen off and now HackRF keeps running in the background. Also on the right, we have the stealth mode. When enabled, uh, the screen shuts off during transmission. Now, it's uh, not for cover top. It's just useful to reduce visible light or battery usage when doing long transmissions. And on the right, we have frequency section. Uh, now, this is where you tune your center frequency. Well, we will dig into this later when we do actual signal reception and transmission. Now, the frag up label here refers to the fragmented uplink uh, frequency section. This is mostly relevant in GSM and digital protocol exploration. Now, for now, just know it is tied to the burst-based signal modes. On the right, we have the DC bias uh, or T-toggle. Now, this uh, powers active uh, antennas through this SMA port disabled by default and unless you know your antenna needs it you need to keep it off on the right side uh, we also have this uh, icon we will talk about that later when we do more practical thing but on the right we have the audio output now you can enable this to listen to the demodulated audio like fm broadcast essential for real time listening tests and here in the ha Porta Pack Hack RF, we have also this small microphone here, which um, works fine. Um, and here, uh, this is the navigation screen dimming. Now you can use the uh, also just click on it on the middle to um, dim or brighten the screen. This is self-explanatory but helpful uh, outdoors. And we also have the SD card status. This is not clickable. Now, this is just the indicator. So if we remove the SD card from top, 
it will show the question mark like this and then uh, this means that then your SD card isn't mounted or is missing something right and uh, that's it and that's your quick orientation to the portapack mayhem interface simple powerful and built for field work in the next lecture we will get hands-on with the real signals starting with the fm broadcast reception single signal signals uh, scanning and iq recording using the just portapack not pc involved but in the later more advanced lectures we will also use the uh, PC as well. So you may ask uh, why the hell you don't have uh, this one here when I just uh, removed my Porta pack from this I see that this was now this okay. It is detachable, but of course it's better to have this one uh, So we don't have the signal interference And that's it how the hack RF and Porta pack works uh, thank you for watching and i'm meeting you in next lecture